Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to day three of my special road trip around Lake Michigan, which is also part of a special series of videos that celebrates hitting 1 million subscribers. If you're new here and you missed day one and day two, I suggest you pause this video, go watch day one and day two, and then come here to continue the journey. All right, today is Mackinac Island day. We're gonna take the ferry and we're gonna explore the island. Hopefully we're gonna have good weather the whole day. So we're gonna be a little bit cloudy, but at least if it doesn't rain, that's that's enough. That's all I'm asking for. Let's go. Whoops. Well, on our way there, I didn't expect to see this. This, my dear friends, is Bumblebee. I think it might be a life-size replica. I mean, this is huge. Look at it. All right. I need to stop messing. I can check more on this later because I need to get to the ferry. But still, it's impressive. I mean, look at that. That's huge. I've never seen a life-size replica of Bumblebee. That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, we had to stop at another store. Everyone wants to get something. I think my dad wants to get a cap. And I want one too. So, where are they at? Plus, look, there's some kind of... These are not like surprise toys, right? Kind of. Let's look for the caps. Maybe there's so many brands here too. Okay, so, they're all kind of like outdoorsy fishing stuff. Should I just get a USA one? A red one? You guys think that will look good on me? It'll look something like this. I don't know, I'll walk around a little bit. I ended up getting nothing from the store, so the only thing left to do was to get to our scheduled ferry ride. Even though the line seemed long, once they started boarding, it went super fast. If I'm not mistaken, there are two ferry companies that can take you to Mackinac Island. One of them is called Shepler's and the other one is Starline. We went with Shepler's and the ticket price for one adult is $34. Pretty soon we were on board and we decided to sit on the upper deck rather than below deck. We also got in during the Mighty Mac departures window. What this means is that if you get on between 9 and 10.30, they'll make a scenic detour under the Mackinac Bridge and the captain narrates the history of the bridge and also fun facts about it. The departures that take you directly to Mackinac Island usually take about 16 minutes from both Mackinac City and St. Ignace. Mighty Mac departures traveling under the Mackinac Bridge take approximately 10 minutes longer. Once that part was done and we started headed towards the island, it got seriously windy and very cold. But now that I'm thinking about it, most likely the cold part was because of the wind and we were thinking about going down below the deck, but at this point, I don't even know if there was any more space left. Plus the entire family wanted to stay on the upper deck. It was mainly me that wanted to go below deck at this point. In hindsight, I should have had my sunglasses and hoodie with me because the wind was brutal and I'm sure that would have made it a little bit easier. Because the best way to explain it, it was like you're going on a highway and someone opens the window and you're just sticking your head outside. My mom had a cap on which she purchased from the store we were at, but that didn't help. It flew right off, but luckily it was still on deck. And during my cap rescue, these guys noticed that I'm actually filming, so congratulations, I guess you're a part of the video now. It would be really fun and cool if one of you is actually watching this and if you do please let me know in the comments as we got closer we started seeing more and more of the island but my favorite part from that was that the boat was slowing down which meant that the wind was slowing down and it wasn't as cold All right, we made it. That was a little bit more windy than I anticipated. A little bit cold. So I'm definitely gonna need a cap. I guess my hair is a mess right now. I'm gonna have to find a cap on this island and also a little hoodie thingy. I don't know how you call that thing. It's not a hoodie. It's like a thing with the zipper. It's like a hoodie with the zipper. Oh yeah. And just like that, I was on Mackinac Island. Before I tell you more about this beautiful place, I had to make one quick stop. All right, I think I found all the hats here. So I have nice 
choices. You just need to pick wisely. Maybe this one. Or green. I like green. Wait a minute. Oh, those are kids' caps. Never mind. I like this one. I don't think they have one of those zipper ups things that I'm looking for. Oh, there they do. They're not even expensive. Let's see. Well, it's just this color. Large, 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 large. I need a medium. Please have a medium. All right, well, I guess I'll just get the cap. Are those bracelets? No, they're glasses, which I need, but I don't see anything I like here. Hello, how are you? Can you wear the hat, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Looks pretty good. Officially it's yours now. For those of you that never heard about it, the island is a truly unique destination that feels like stepping back in time. First off, there are no cars allowed on the island. Instead, people get around by walking, biking, or using horse-drawn carriages. This gives the whole place a very peaceful and very charming atmosphere, and I doubt that you can find that in many places nowadays. Amongst other things, Mackinac Island is also known for its fudge, and there are plenty of shops where you can watch it being made and also try some. Overall, I feel like Mackinac Island offers a mix of history, natural beauty, and unique experiences that make it a very special place to visit. Whether you're interested in exploring history historic sites or enjoying outdoor activities or just relaxing and taking in the scenery, there's something for everyone. My sister and I went into this little store that's called Dodd's Market or Dodd's Market. I guess I shouldn't say it was little because it did look little from the outside, but once you got in, it was a lot bigger than it looked. We were just browsing and checking out what products they have and then we noticed these burgers and chicken sandwiches and even though we weren't hungry, we did want a snack on something, so after debating for a little bit, we ended up sharing a chicken sandwich. Wait, maybe I should find a different one. No, it's fine. Maybe I should have gotten the cheeseburger. <laughs> hey! After that sandwich hit our stomachs, we went into this super tightly packed store to look for, you guessed it, a hoodie. Well, not quite a hoodie because I have one. It was more like a zip up type of hoodie. I think that's how you call it. And luckily I found exactly what I was looking for. So I tried it on, paid, and then slipped out before getting claustrophobic. We walked around exploring the main street a little bit more and hot diggity damn, it was buzzing with people. And keep in mind, this was a Monday and it was about 11 a.m. or so. But it was nice because I actually liked this type of atmosphere. At this point, we were trying to find Joanne's fudge because I heard that they have the best fudge on and off the island. And, you know, when in Rome. We did find it eventually and let me tell you, it's such a cool shop. On the right here, you can see how they make the fudge on these huge slabs of marble. It's also made fresh daily and they have 25 flavors to choose from, which can be quite difficult if you are like me and you want to try a little bit of everything. They also have ice cream and other types of candy and also a lot of different, I don't know, things that are covered in chocolate. Uh, no, I'm just deciding. Can I get the five slices gift box? And um, what is the best seller? Plain chocolate and then after that chocolate, powdered chocolate. Okay, so can I get those three? And then just the vanilla. Okay. I have one more, right? Yeah. Um, the chocolate cherry. That's right. Believe it or not, my sister doesn't like fudge, so she got herself some ice cream. Of course, I also had to try the ice cream, so once we got out, I stopped a little bit to enjoy the view and also taste that delicious, I think it was cookies and cream ice cream. And it was pretty good ice cream, nothing spectacular, you know, just regular, very good ice cream. All right, so before we move on, I really want to try this fudge because believe it or not, other than the sample that you just saw me try, I actually didn't try any of the fudge that I bought. I know it's crazy, but I was actually saving it for exactly this video. Three of them I just gave away to friends and family. So these two are the only ones I have. I think one of them is the cherry one and the other one is just the uh, original chocolate. So I'm gonna try something different here. 
because I have this phone, I don't have a secondary camera. And I was thinking of kind of like putting it up here, but then I was like, maybe I can just hold it and you know, anyway, let's just get to it. All right, so here it is up close. See how they wrote on the back, this is chocolate. And then this one over here is cherry. I think we should start with the original, the chocolate, right? So the only part about setting the camera up top from here, it was that I could use both my hands. Right now I can just use one, but we'll figure it out. Just seeing like this brings back memories because I remember them packing it in this little paper. Here it is, a big old slab of fudge. Forgot it's wrapped in this, so let me take it off. I think it might've been staying here for a little bit too long because it feels a little hard. I don't think it was supposed to be like this. Even though they wrapped it in this um, plastic wrap, I mean, it's been a while at this point, you know? All right, where's my little knife? There it is. I can take you guys back up here. Yes, yeah, it shouldn't be this hard, right? I'm gonna use this other knife. It's not that bad. It was just kind of like the outside. My mouth is actually watering. It's still looking very good and I bet it tastes absolutely amazing. Hmm. This is really good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it. It is the best fudge I ever tasted. I didn't try a boatload of different fudges, but I don't know, from everything I tried, this is the best one. You know what's crazy? Now I'm extremely curious what the other ones that I gave away tasted like. Because if I remember correctly, I think one of those was actually in the top three best sellers, but oh well, I hope that whoever got that one actually enjoyed it. All right now time for the cherry one. Oh boy, this one looks even better than the other one. And I really love cherries, so I'm gonna definitely enjoy this one. This one is also a little bit hard like the other one, but I mean, I kind of like it like that. It's a little bit more crumbly, you know, it's not as, um, um, how should I explain that? Not a rubbery, but kind of like mushy. It's more like, I don't know, crumbly. All right, here it is, all unwrapped. I'm definitely gonna go for this piece over here with some cherries, you know? So I'm a lefty. I normally cut things with my left hand, but I'm gonna have to do it with my right hand this time. Don't worry, I was careful. I'm not destroying my table. Look at this beauty. Again, my mouth is watering, so let me just go for it. Mm -hmm. There's the cherries. Even though I didn't taste all the fudge from the other places, I don't know, I don't think they can do it better than this. I think it's definitely the best fudge on and off the island. At least for me, honestly, this is the best fudge I ever tasted. I am gonna leave this over here just in case I decide that I want some more. But right now, let's continue with the story. And yes, if you want a rating, it is definitely 10 out of 10. So after we left the Joanne fudge shop, we walked around for a little bit more and then I went into this jewelry shop to look for bracelets and I actually found a couple. It took me a while to decide, but eventually I got these two bracelets. Thank you, appreciate it. Me too. And let me show you real quick a close up of them. I got this one over here because right, Mackinac City, boats, island. And then I got this one, which is pretty cool. And it also has some weight to it. So it feels really nice and not expensive, but um, well-built, I guess, like good quality. And it fits me perfectly, see? And then this one with the anchor, I'm not gonna put it on right now, but you guys should expect to see it in future videos. So keep an eye out for it. And also let me know in the comments of those videos if it actually looks good. So once I got my bracelets, it was finally time to actually rent a bike and explore the island a little bit more with my sister. Hey, how are you? All right. Is this gonna fit? <laughs> Just keep it, right? Put this in here.
This was by far the highlight of the day. Now I'll stop talking for a little bit and I'll just let you enjoy some of the scenery of this unique bike ride around the island. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad I decided to, with my sister, to rent a bike and actually go around the aisle. Not the aisle, the island. See, I'm thinking about toys, many brands. I'm not, I'm joking. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. If you get a chance to come here, please do. Uh-oh, there's a thing here. So they said this is 207 steps. Not too bad, but not too great either. Yeah. I think I might have to take this off after I get up there. The view is already really nice, so I guess it's worth it. everyone is taking pictures everywhere we're gonna have to wait our turn but there it is the arch absolutely gorgeous absolutely worth it it's beautiful isn't it yeah, i'm gripping my phone so hard right now you scarred oh, okay i don't want to see oh, you. Oh, you're good so glad we were on the trail and I told my sis, I'm like, hey, let's stop. Look, there's a thing here we can go to. I didn't know what it was. I mean, I saw a lot of pictures with that, but I didn't know what it was um, when I saw the name. So I'm like, you want to go? And she's like, uh, yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely. All right, we're going to head back now. Grab our bikes and continue our tour. Oh, there's a lot of people there, man. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry. You know how we always say that a picture or a video cannot actually capture the beauty of when you see something with your own eyes? Well, this is the perfect example of that. If you think it looks amazing based solely on what you see in this video, you can only imagine how it looks and feels when you are there. And by the way, for those of you interested and curious, we rented our bikes from the Mackinac Island Bike Shop and we chose the hourly rate. In total, including the stops, it took us one hour and 40 minutes from the time we left until we came back. And I paid $62.33 for both bikes. If I'm not mistaken, I think this trail is about eight miles long. I mean, okay. It's not a trail, technically, it's a highway. It's called Highway M185, which is also known as the Lakeshore Boulevard. And it's the only highway in the nation where vehicles are prohibited. Of course, except for emergency vehicles. So after we arrived back and we returned our bikes, I finally was able to see how they're actually making the fudge.
Once that was done, I went to another souvenir shop to get some fridge magnets straight from the island. I thought this one was interesting because it would remind me of my parents wanting to leave. And don't get me wrong, they loved the island, it's just that they didn't venture out too much and they mostly remained on the main street. Which, of course, you're gonna get bored after a few hours. Even though I don't agree with that either because it's just so fun to be on the main street and actually find a nice bench, for example, and just people watch. You know what I mean? Like maybe go grab a drink or a bite or a snack and just sit there and just relax and people watch. Plus the weather on the island was actually perfect. But anyway, I ended up leaving there with two magnets and another cool bracelet that I found. And then one last thing before we left the island, my sister really wanted to go inside this haunted house. She begged me over and over again to go inside with her, but I actually refused and I sent my dad. Meanwhile, my mom and I found a bench with a nice view just across the street from there and we sat down while waiting for them and enjoyed the last few minutes on the island. Once they came out, we headed to our ferry and after getting one last look of the island, I hurried to catch my ride back to Mackinac City. We decided to stay below deck this time and that was such a perfect choice because the ride was a little bumpier than before and also some of the people up top got quite wet because of it. By the way, I was so amused at how all the people moved in unison as the boat was rocking back and forth. Well, that was Mackinac Islands. Let's see where we're going to go next. It was really, really fun, by the way. I had a blast. I'll definitely come back. On our way back to the hotel, my sister spotted another haunted house and once again tried to convince me to go in with her. Then guess what? Bumblebee's head finally got delivered and it was waiting to be attached to the rest of the body. To be honest with you, it was a little bit weird seeing it like that and I don't know exactly why. It was almost like he was actually alive at some point and they are just displaying its head. In that moment, I was really hoping that I can see it all put together before we leave Mackinac City, but who knows, maybe I will. So after that, we went straight to the hotel and we relaxed for maybe a couple hours. And then I wanted to go to a Goodwill and try to find some dessert dishes. At that point, I was thinking that as soon as I get back home, I'll make the real life version of the Mini Brands Create. And for that, I would need some specific dishes that I couldn't find online. However, I had no luck finding anything that's really close or identical to what I need. So we left and went on to grab some dinner. To be completely honest with you, I am really not a fan of these buffets, but my family really enjoys them. And it also became some sort of a family vacation tradition where we find one in the city we're going to. And I know what you're going to say, my plates don't look like much. And that's because I just wanted to taste a bit of everything before I actually go on and put more on my plate. You know how it is. You go there and you see something that you think you might like and then you make a full plate of that thing and then you eat half and you're like, yeah, I can't anymore. Or you just don't like it. And then if no one that's there with you likes it either, yeah, you're kind of wasting food, which is in fact one of my biggest pet peeves. For some reason, I forgot to record the dessert plate, but I had some chocolate pudding, a little bit of fruit and some ice cream. After that, well, you guessed it, another Walmart. You see, there aren't any Walmarts in Mackinac City, and since we went to the buffet, which was a little bit out of the town, that's where we also found this Walmart that was kind of close by. It was literally the closest and only Walmart around Mackinac City. So I came to Walmart for two reasons. I mean, we came to Walmart for two reasons. First, I'm gonna go here because it's more quiet. First, we need some supplies for the hotel. Second and most important, I'm going to give Mini Brands and Miniverse another chance and see if I can find something on the shelves that's new. And third of all, I still need to find that hazelnut something Kit Kat that apparently is new but is nowhere to be found. So since last time we checked it was at a Walmart, we are back at a Walmart, a different one. Maybe they have it, so let's go. Okay, this Walmart is definitely configured in a different way because the toys are not where I usually find them. I think we're going to have to turn back. I think there's somewhere over there because, yeah, because here it's food now. Food. Or maybe in that corner over there. Yeah, I need to go back. If I'm not in any of the Walmarts around me, chances are toys are not going to be in exactly the same spot. So I'm sure I'll find them eventually. Guess what? I found them. Now the only thing left is to hopefully find some mini brands. 
Not some mini brands, but new mini brands. Hi. Nope. No. Yeah. No. Don't tell me you don't have mini brands. I mean, that is a possibility, but very unlikely. I probably missed them somehow. I think they might not have mini brands. Oh, never mind. They're over here. Well, nothing new. Same old, same old. Okay, I'm gonna go grab all the other stuff and then I think we're gonna go back to the hotel. So, if nothing else that's interesting happens today, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I saw it from far away and I was like, why is there a subway thing on the aisle? To be honest with you, the bottles look a little bit like there's some kind of medicine. <laughs> Of course, I didn't know about Buffalo Wild Wings, Chick-fil-A, and then I'm guessing Panera. No, Olive Garden. All right. I don't know about Subway, though. So the reason why I'm back on the camera is because I forgot that uh, we're also going to look for those Kit Kat, the new Kit Kats. So let's just check the main candy aisle and see what we find there. This is weird, I can't find the candy aisle. Usually I'm pretty fast at finding that. I did find the beverage aisles, which is good, because I need some. I guess we can get the beverages first, and then go to the candy aisle. It's probably more down that way. Where is the candy? Is there a possibility that this Walmart doesn't have a candy aisle? I don't think so, right? Oh, here it is, right next to the freezer section. I see Feastables, which by the way, the new recipe is actually pretty good. I would not have recommended the previous one, but this one is actually good. Not a dark chocolate though. Just get, it. this is good. The milk chocolate is also really good. That's also really good, but it's Hershey's. We were talking about uh, Feastables. What? What? Didn't we get this last trip? Yes, we did. And if you want it, we can get one. I don't think they would put them in these packages. I think they would just be individual. Inside. Yeah. All right, so they have the donut, they have the king size. That's it. Let's see, what about here? It's, I mean, why would they make a commercial about it? No, this is the regular one. Birthday something. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to wait until it's actually out, because I guess it's not out yet. They were probably just teasing. So let's go back to the hotel. And back to the hotel we went and stayed for the night. My friends, that was it for day three. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And I want to thank you in advance for liking, commenting, and for subscribing. And now as usual, you guys stay golden and keep on shining. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.